Well guys, we were uh, road cruising down a dirt road that cuts through some uh, thick swamp habitat. It's actually a uh, pretty much a flooded river and uh, so it's very extensive and uh, there's a lot of aquatic snakes that I can find crossing this road um, pretty much any time of the year, any time of day and um, right here we have a very unique snake not in appearance but just its natural history alone is very interesting that my friend is a glossy crayfish snake or Regina regida okay guys um, the glossy crayfish snake is a uh, not very often seen snake in their uh, in their range and uh, the reason being is because they're just highly aquatic and their habitat is very uh, just unaccessible to humans in general it's just all swampy and most people aren't very willing to just go wading around in swamps so uh, but uh, occasionally you'll find them road cruising crossing roads and stuff usually at uh, night time during the summer but uh, we I actually found this snake during the day in uh, the beginning of the year it's not even it's like the complete opposite so uh, it's very uh, weird snake like in its behaviors and just its appearance in general it's just uh, not a very thick bodied snake but uh, it uh, has a very strange looking head it's pointed with very large eyes and um, their teeth are actually chiseled shape to grip their prey which is mainly crayfish and um, more different is the uh, fact that they prefer freshly molted crayfish so in captivity they generally don't do well because of their uh, food items their uh, preferred prey and that's pretty much the case with most aquatic snakes like mud snakes and rainbow snakes so it's very strange and um, what sets this apart from most other aquatic snakes is the fact that their scales while keeled are actually very shiny which is where they get the glossy crayfish snake name and um, very neat snakes they only get about 20 inches in length this one's actually about 22 inches in length and it's a very large female Females have the small tail, just like most water snakes, snakes in general. And um, usually they're around 15 to 20 inches in length, so this is a rather large individual. Um, it's typical body size and shape, the, uh, the this thin, slender body. But um, very, um, not very distinctive, I guess, if you don't know snakes. But I've been looking for these for a few years now, so... Um, just another snake to knock off my list, you know. It's awesome. Finding new species this early in the year just kind of tells me that maybe this year is going to be a good one. But um, typically um, these snakes are a uniform color, brown, with a uh, lighter belly with the little uh, crossbars on each scale. It's like a, almost like a ringneck snake pattern. But um, just uh, very th neat. They have uh, some very uh, pronounced orange on the lips and the eyes which are very beautiful are like an algae green color and as you can see the uh, the spots on the towards the chin area actually form a point and they kind of are modeled on the chin so just very neat looking snake overall not very aggressive at all she did try to attempt to bite me when I uh, first picked her up so I guess they can uh, be a little aggressive an interesting fact about these snakes in North Carolina is that they weren't even discovered here until 1954 and um, this county along with uh, surrounding areas are pretty much well known for them so I guess they're uh, doing quite well out here they range from uh, coastal North Carolina down into uh, Florida, northern Florida, and uh, out west to Texas, so they're far ranging. But in uh, south Florida, they're actually replaced by the striped crayfish snakes, which, as its name suggests, has stripes. So um, there's a few different species that I know of the Graham's crayfish snake, 
um, all found in different areas. And um, really, there's it just amazes me like how variable a snake's diet can be. And this is just an example, you know. There's something out there to eat everything. It seems eels, crayfish, amphiumas. It's weird, but very interesting. Snakes are just so awesome to me. And uh, it's always neat to find something new. Even though like, I enjoy seeing every snake I find. And uh, if you haven't realized or noticed, Regina is actually shared by another snake in this state. And that's the queen snake. And I actually have a video of that that I found last year. So I, pretty, I found um, both species of Regina and the Regina family. In North Carolina, so and they kind of share similar uh, body characteristics: the slenderish body, small pointed heads. Although these ones have larger eyes with small pupils, it's very strange looking. And um, I guess most of their life they spend foraging around um, on the the leaf litter and water. So you don't really see them that often unless they're crossing um, habitat to habitat whenever there's a, a shortage of prey in their old home range. So, But uh, I, I believe they don't leave water very often because their, their skin's very moist. Not right now, but I mean it's, it loses water very quickly. So they're not very terrestrial snakes at all so beautiful out here just smells amazing and just what more can you ask for um, she's got a few scars on her I'm not sure what that could be from see there's one right there it's just kind of a mangled area of scales but uh, this is definitely a uh, sure sign that spring has coming other than the fact that most of our trees are beginning to uh, develop leaves and are budding and flowering just awesome other than swamps these snakes are uh, found in canals and ditches pretty much anywhere where there's crayfish and uh, I know several areas where crayfish are very abundant so I'm pretty sure they're there and um, just really neat snake. Something totally new, different for me. Kind of build a neat or find stuff in my own stomping ground. Something new, like my own area. So neat looking. Look at those eyes. Alright guys, I'm going to let this gorgeous little beauty back on her way. She was facing this direction, so I imagine she was headed here. I'm going to let her go in this little slough connected to the mainstream. Put her right here. Let her find her way home. You got it, girl. There she goes. Gone from the world. Wouldn't even know she was there. Still see a little bit of her.